Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening right down the middle between the two of you. If these messages resonate with you, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also a friendly reminder, I am available for private reading. So if you're after one, I have those links down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Scorpios for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the magician in the mirror. Okay, beautiful, that's your energy. All right, we have happy family. Okay, beautiful. And your person's energy, the goddess of the moon. Ooh, Scorpio, ooh, Scorpio. I feel like we've got a really beautiful match here. We've got a really beautiful combination here with the magician in the mirror and the moon goddess that you two, you two are magic when you're together. And a lot of you, you are going to come together in marriage or creating a family or just building something solid, stable and secure and, you know, building a legacy together. So the angel of love, my goodness, Scorpios, are you ready for this? <laughs> are you ready for this? Oh my goodness. All right, let's get into this. Let's see. You're showing up as the magician in the mirror. Okay. You're showing up as the magician and the mirror. What else do we need to know regarding my Scorpios? You have all the tools that you need. A lot of my Scorpios, you've manifested this. There's magic around you. Um, I feel that there's beautiful alchemy, all right, within this connection as well. Um, we have the Queen of Cups showing up in reverse, okay, which tells me that a lot of my Scorpios, um, you know, you may, have, you may come into this connection feeling a little bit emotionally drained or maybe even a little bit hesitant or reticent here to, um, to invest because this most likely because of past baggage or previous connection, or again, my Scorpio is just being very cautious and wise. Um, your person's energy is the eight of pentacles, but you've got somebody really solid here, Scorpio, really, really solid. And we've got the queen of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Yeah. I do kind of feel like both of you have been maybe through something very similar when it comes to love and relationships, which may be creating a little bit of hesitation. Just remember not to hold back too, too much and not let the past dictate the future or the present. And, and really, um, you know, to not project any of that past energy onto something new, because I see something very beautiful here. Um, but I also see two people that are mirroring each other in a lot of ways, or two people that are um, uh, hesitant, hesitant about investing, but I do feel like your person is solid. Like, I feel like you've got somebody very, very solid and stable here. And we have the knave of pentacles. Yeah. That wants to make you an offer or that is, I'm, I'm hearing your person is all in, although they might be a little bit concerned that you're out of their league, Scorpio. Maybe there's a bit of a disparity here when it comes to finances, um, or maybe they just, you know, they feel like there could be a bit of an age difference too. Somebody might be a little bit worried about that, but love knows no bounds here with the angel of love. I feel like this connection is very supported, um, in moving forward. And, and I, I feel like you're both being quite practical. I just feel like there's a little bit of this distorted feminine energy here with the queen of cups in reverse and Scorpio. I'm a fellow water sign. As many of you know, I also have a Scorpio moon and I'm a cancer sun. So I, I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking watery energy, but definitely distorted feminine energy can come from when we haven't completely healed and cleared the past. All right. So, you know, there could be, there could be a fear that, you know, you're not good enough, or maybe they're fearing they're not good enough. You both might even just be feeling the same way. Cause I feel like you're both quite enamored with one another, to be honest. All right. Let's see here. And we have the wheel of fortune. This is destiny, Scorpio. This is in your energy. You have a lot to offer. Again, this person knows that they might feel like you are a little bit out of their league. All right. And we have the justice card, Libran energy. Um, so with Libra and energy here, I feel like, you know, I feel like you're very balanced. I feel like you have a lot to offer. Uh, just one moment. Okay. Sorry about that little interruption there, Scorpio. So this is absolutely beautiful energy because I also feel like destiny and karmic justice are here on your side, bringing you this person, bringing you this connection, um, yeah. And I feel like you just, you have so much to offer. I think this person is really seeing that, recognizing that 
The Eight of uh, Pentacles here is your person. This person's hardworking. I feel like they're generally kind of optimistic. I also feel like they're very spiritual. Okay, I feel like they, you know, that there's going to be a telepathic element here to this connection. And we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, some of you, this person works a lot. That could be a little bit of a fear that, um, that you know, the connection may not be able to come together because of, you know, dif different schedules. I'm also seeing, Scorpio, there might be a little bit of an economic disparity here. This person might not be exactly where they want to be financially, and they might be like working two jobs. And if you're if you're a Scorpio out there and you're financially independent or you're you're pretty you know pretty good or healthy financially, um, this person is a little bit worried about that. Okay, that they're not there. Yeah, this person does worry. Okay, but we do see double eights coming out, which is you know for me it echoes um, Lionsgate energy, which is coming up on the eighth of August. I feel there's a lot of abundance here within this connection, and I feel like you two are actually going to be a perfect match. You know, you might not go toe to toe when it comes to finances or, you know, age or or even looks for that matter, although I do think you're going to be a beautiful couple. Um, but I do feel that at the same time, like this person's a little bit worried. They're a little bit worried that maybe their work is going to interfere um, or maybe that they just don't have enough to offer you. So they're, they, they are feeling a little bit insecure is what I'm seeing here. And uh, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I'm hearing some of you, they might know your ex or they've seen pictures of your exes and they're like, oh gosh, you know, I'm not that. I don't, you know, I don't look like them, um, you know, or I don't, you know, make six or seven figures like them or something like that. All right. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yep. Letting down your guard. You're both going to let down your guard so that this happens. And yep, you're going to be seeing each other differently. And I feel like you're going to be seeing each other through the eyes or through the lens of love. And I'm, I do see two people falling in love here for sure. And we see this six of pentacles, which to me is very reminiscent of the three of pentacles. But I see this being a very balanced and loving relationship. Of course, you, you both are going to bring very different, different attributes to the connection. But I feel like it's exactly what the connection needs to grow and to flourish. So somebody here might be worried about not having enough or not having exactly what you have or not having what they have, but it's kind of like you fill in each other's gaps, right? So let's see what my Scorpios need to know about this person. What else do we need to know about Scorpio's person? I feel like your person here, this goddess of the moon, I feel like they're very, very attractive, but I'm almost getting that they're like unconventionally attractive and that they might feel like a little bit insecure about that. And what I mean by that is like, they're not going to be, you know, your, you know, your, your very typical, your typical beauty or your typical, you know, good looking. They're very attractive in and of their own right, but there's something either exotic or a little bit different or unconventional about them. Um, and, and I also think their personality just is like, is huge, right? Um, so we see not today. So your person, um, you know, that your person might be a little bit avoidant. If you do feel like they're avoiding you at times, Scorpio, say this is somebody, you know, in the neighborhood out and about in your community or at work or something like that. Um, you know, if they're a little bit avoidant, it's probably because you make them feel a little bit nervous or they feel a little bit shy around you. Okay. And, uh, but this person is somebody very honest. I think you're going to get the clarity that you need from them. Um, although they may be avoidant at times and they kind of overthink, um, this person really does value, uh, trust and honesty and transparency. Beautiful. That's like refreshing, right? <laughs> All right. And your energy, you and you and this person, you mirror each other in a lot of ways. Um, so I do see my Scorpios. You're definitely doing some introspection here about this, if this is something you should invest in more. And I do see you spying on this person. Yeah, some of you, you are. You're spying on this person. You're trying to get more info about them. Are they single? Are they available? How do they feel about you? Um, but I also feel like your perception is going to change the more you get to know this person, which is kind of like, you know, duh, of course it will. But I'm seeing it's going to it's going to change for the positive here. So I do see you're looking at all the details here. And I think that when you let your guard down and they especially they let down their guard and they open up to you and feel comfortable, you're going to see something just really, really special. All right. So um, we have that you two are soulmates. Beautiful. I'm not surprised. It's a soul connection. There's potential for partnership. You two have a soul contract destiny. Some of you, you might even be twin flames. And I do feel that this is, there's a lot of potential for this to be a very healthy connection. 
Um, I feel like this person's energy is healthy. Um, I feel like, I feel like, you know, even some of my Scorpios like this, it might be a little bit off for you or weird for you because some of you you've had to deal with quite toxic partners or relationships. And I feel like this is going to be a huge paradigm shift for you, but it's going to be a major transformation. I think it's going to be a transformative relation relationship for you. I think it's also going to be full of really beautiful, pleasant surprises here. Okay, so let's see, what would this person like you to know at the ego level? What does this person want you to know at the ego level? I'm in a committed relationship. Uh, I'm not getting that anywhere else in this reading. Like I don't see that this person is married or they're, you know, they're, they're putting you in a third party situation. What I'm seeing is this person's already Im imagining that marriage and that commitment and that stability with you. And they're waiting to hear from you or they're waiting to get a sign from you to open up. Um, and they compare everyone else to you. So Scorpio, they're definitely seeing you as the best of the best here. All right, so let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. At the soul level, their higher self or their future self, what do they want my Scorpios to know? All right, we have, I, I listened to the wrong people. They were wrong about you. So there could be some gossip here about you, Scorpio. Again, maybe that's what's creating a little bit of hesitation because if this person is like a neighbor or a friend of a friend or a coworker, um, you know, they may have heard things that just weren't really true. Um, and that made them feel a little bit insecure about what they were bringing to the table or what they could offer you. And I should have listened to my intuition. Yeah. So this person definitely, they are very intuitive, but there's something here that's throwing them off a little bit. And most likely it's gossip or it's bad advice. Um, and this person definitely is hoping to come together with you. Um, so let's go ahead and see clear messages, advice, and guidance. What else do my Scorpios need to know here regarding this connection? Actually, this is not the deck I want to pull from just yet. I want to see if there's anything else that my Scorpios need to know that they're not seeing. Is there anything else my Scorpios need to know that they're not seeing here, please? Um, overcoming challenges. Yeah, I see that. I definitely see that. Like whatever initial challenges here, whether it's gossip, it's a misperception of one another, it's, you know, a lack of self-confidence here. Um, it can certainly be overcome and the feelings here are definitely deepening. We do see get to the heart of the matter. So I do think you're going to get the truth and the clarity that you need here, Scorpio. And I think it's leading to something really extremely beautiful. All right. So let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. Yep, this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson, Scorpio. And for some of you, this relationship deserves a second chance. Um, I just feel like this, I feel like this relationship deserves a chance. I, I see that there's something absolutely beautiful. I think you can be a magical couple here. Um, just magic around both of you. All right, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.